Good morning. Before we move on to the numerical problems based on the three phase system diagram and the definitions, we'll discuss two terms sensitivity and thixotropy. Now, personally, though I feel this should be included in the module while the shear strength is discussed, your syllabus specifies this to be included in the first module. So, uh, we'll define what sensitivity is. Sensitivity of soil is the ratio of undisturbed strength to the remolded strength of soil at the same water content. Now for you to understand the strength, uh, it is better to define these two terms, like I said, in the module where shear strength of soil is discussed. But nonetheless, by definition, S sensitivity is equal to UCS undisturbed by UCS remolded, which means unconfined compressive strength of undisturbed soil divided by unconfined compressive strength of remolded soil. You don't have to get bewildered at looking at the terms unconfined compressive strength as something which is based on a particular test that we do. But anyways, all you have to understand is it is a ratio of strength of soil in an undisturbed case to a remolded case. For example, you go out to the field, uh, take an undisturbed soil sample test it for its strength and let's say that you got a value of 10 kilopascals and afterwards you try to mix it and play around with that the particular clay and after a few few hours when you try to test it you'll get a lower value a lower strength value which means the strength got reduced the strength of the un disturbed soil got reduced when it is remolded. So this ratio of undisturbed strength to the remolded strength is called as sensitivity. Now based on the value of sensitivity S, you can actually classify soil to be insensitive or little sensitive, moderately sensitive or sensitive. So if you take a look at this table, you can see that sensitive soils are the ones that will have sensitivity value somewhere between 4 and 8. Whereas for an insensitive soil, it falls of the range of 1. In short, the soils which get a considerable reduction in strength on remolding is sensitive, whereas those which doesn't show or exhibit a particular reduced strength is called as an insensitive soil. And it actually indicates the weakening of soil due to remolding. Another term that comes as part of this sensitivity is thixotropy. Now, thixotropy is a property. If this remolded soil is allowed to stand without loss of water content, it may regain its strength. This property is called as a thixotropy. For example, let's, let's talk about the same clay that you have taken from the site. If this particular clay, after remolding, is allowed to stand on its own without disturbance and without the loss of water content, it may gain back its strength. This property is what we call as thixotropy. Now, this is actually significant in case of pile installations, etc., or or in 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 the field when you are installing something into a sensitive clay and after a few days or perhaps a few weeks, the clay may regain its strength even after getting disturbed. So this property is called as thixotropy. Now we'll try to deal with the first numerical problem. The problem is given here, the question number one. A soil specimen has a water content of 10% and a wet weight of 20 kN per meter cube. If the specific gravity of the solids is 2.7, determine the dry unit weight, void ratio, and degree of saturation. So the values of the terms are written in red fonts. 10% is the water content. And unit weight is given as 20 kN per meter cube. Specific gravity is given as 2.7. So from these two terms, unit weight gamma and water content W, we can find the dry unit weight gamma D, 
based on the basic relation gamma d is equal to gamma by 1 plus w where gamma is given as 20 and w is 10 percent or 0 0.1 so substitute that and what you get is around 18.18 kilonewton per meter cube the value of dry unit weight now from another basic relation we know that gamma is equal to g plus sc by 1 plus e into gamma w g the specific gravity s the degree of saturation e the voids ratio gamma w the unit weight of water i can rewrite that equation as g plus wg by 1 plus e based on another basic relation you may have to brush up you may have to flip back the few videos and see that s e is equal to w into g water content multiplied by specific gravity is equal to s into e so i have a new relation here from which i can take on g like this so gamma is equal to g into 1 plus w by 1 plus e into gamma w and i have value of gamma already given in the question value of g already given in the question value of w already given in the question and gamma w is the unit weight of water which is standard 10 kilonewton per meter cube so the only unknown in this particular equation is void ratio e and on solving i get value of void ratio to be 0 0.49 so we got void ratio which was one part of the question and we got dry unit weight which was another part of the question and what remains is the degree of saturation for which we have the equation s e equal to w g degree of saturation s is unknown void ratio is already known to us w water content is already known to us g is already known to us so in short you can get degree of saturation s equal to w g by e which is equal to 0.1 multiplied by 2.7 by 0 0.49 and you get 55 percentage so try to work this problem on your own and cross check whether you are getting a similar values for the answers next question number two the mass of a chunk of moist soil is 20 kilogram and its volume is 0 0.011 meter cube after drying in an oven the mass reduced to 16.5 kilograms you are asked to determine the water content, density of moist soil, dry density, voids ratio, porosity and degree of saturation assuming G or specific gravity to be 2.7. So taking a look at that question you know that wet mass is already given as 20 kilogram. After drying in an oven mass of solids is given as 16.5 kilograms. So water which got evaporated will have a mass of 3.5 kilogram from which you can find the water content w equal to mw by ms mw is 3.5 ms is 16.5 and you get water content to be around 21.21 percentage now the density of the moist soil rho is equal to 20 by 0.011 20 is a moist soil's weight 0.011 is a moist soil's volume so you get 1818.18 kilogram per meter cube density of the moist soil now to get the dry density or the density of the dry soil you know rho d is equal to rho by 1 plus w rho is 1818.18 w the water content is already known to us 21.21 or 0.21 when you convert that to decimals so 1818.18 by 1 plus 0.2121 will give you a value of 1500 kilogram per meter cube that is a value of density of dry soil now we know that the basic relation rho equal to g plus sc by 1 plus c into rho w in the earlier question we used gamma equal to g plus sc by 1 plus c into gamma w which was the unit weight and here you have the density so from this density when you substitute 
S is equal to 0, what you get is a dry soil or the dry density G by 1 plus E into rho W. So you know the dry density here has 1500. You know G which is already given in the question and you know density of water from which you will get the voids ratio. One thing that you need to take care is about the units. The unit of dry density we have here is kilogram per meter cube and you need to substitute a consistent unit for density of water which is 1000 kilogram per meter cube. So 1500 is equal to 2.7 by 1 plus E multiplied by 1000. So the only unknown is voids ratio E and you will get the value as 0 0.8. The other unknown is porosity. Porosity based on the basic relation is equal to E by 1 plus E where E is already known to us and you can substitute the value of E and what you get is porosity is equal to 0 0.44. Now to get the other unknown you have SE equal to W into G. So to get the degree of saturation you know water content, you know specific gravity and you know voids ratio. You will get saturation S is equal to WG by E is equal to 71.6 percentage. Now though this question looks again quite simple, try to work this on, on your own and try to see if you are getting a similar value for the answers 21, 18, 18, 1500, 0.8 etc. And once you have gone through these two questions and once you are convinced about the solution, try to solve this particular question on your own as a homework. A sample of dry soil weighs 68 grams. Find the volume of voids if the total volume of the sample is 40, 40 milliliters and the specific gravity is 2.65. You are also asked to determine the voids ratio. So based on a theory that we have discussed in the previous few videos, try to solve this on your own and if you have happen to have some clarifications required we'll discuss during the live session.